Number two for you, late night, as, yeah. a, as a member of the team anyway. What, what are you looking forward to most about tomorrow night? I'm just being able to relax. I feel like freshman year, I was so nervous about what, what's going to happen, how am I going to do. But now since I have a better idea, I feel like I I play a little bit more freely than I did last year. And how about the, the whole spectacle around it? I mean, it's it's obviously one big party, right, to start yeah. the season. And you got Shaq coming and the fans are going to be crazy. What what are the emotions that you feel about kind of that anticipation of all that tomorrow? I think just ready. I think everybody from last year is just ready to get that ring. I feel like we've been waiting a whole year for it. So I just, I'm just excited to watch the banner drop and get our rings and just play in front of my family again. My fam I haven't seen my family since summer, so it's going to be fun seeing them in the crowd. Have you seen the rings? No, we ha we haven't seen them, so it's gonna be a surprise to us more than y'all. <laughs> no, yeah, no input then. You didn't help design them or anything. I mean, you guys, it'll all be blind tomorrow. Uh, that that's all to coach self. That's yeah. the, he he he. I think uh, since he already won one, I think he he knows what's gonna look best. <laughs> you can't look back to last year. Obviously, it was a different team, different season. But the last game you were on the court, North Carolina. Is that something? I mean, is that something you can build on, knowing that? the game's biggest moments you were there, even though you might have not played as much as you wanted to do throughout the season? Yeah, of course, I, I bet, especially from like a freshman perspective, I feel like I did everything that I could for the team, like when they needed me. So I, just building on that and knowing that you're heading in the right, right direction, that coach felt comfortable enough to put you in that, in that light, in that time, I feel like I can just build on that. And now since my sophomore year, just build for bigger things and bigger minutes this year. Do you remember that, that feeling of knowing you were in the game Seconds taken off the clock. What that felt like for you? I mean, you always dream of moments like that, but just to look in the crowd and just see how many ever thousands of people were on there, and just know that you're going to be in this part of history forever. I think that was big for me, just because you always dream about that. Like when you're a little, you don't dream about the details; you just dream about being in there in that moment. And lastly, how's your game different? Have you any changes? Have you expanded anything? Anything you really focused on this this spring and summer? I think this summer, I really, uh, the coaching staff wanted me to work on my perimeter game, which is just shooting, passing the ball, just not be mixed into that post area that I was in last year, just try kind of expand my game for whatever they need me to. Yeah, you're a good guy. You excited to get any pointers from Shaq, maybe? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm really excited uh, to see Shaq, meet Shaq, because that's my mom's favorite player, so I always, I always hear about Shaq. We have Shaq posters all along the wall, so I'm just excited to see him in person. That'll be the first time I'll see him in person. You mean that you're watching him, like, your mom watching him too. I mean, like, how much did, did you pick, did you have any jerseys of him or anything of that nature? Um, no, I, I actually got a, a Shaq jersey for my mom for her birthday. That's, that's, that's the most we got. <laughs> you already know that Regardless of what happens in the scrimmage, Coach Self's going to say there was no defense played and it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you, you guys know that. But what, what do you want to show the fans and, and even your coaches about this team tomorrow night on, on that first sort of spotlight stage moment? Um, probably just my athleticism and just um, how much my game can grow and how much I can improve on during the years. I feel like um, since the limited time I had during the season, I feel like uh, no one really got to see KJ. The, the game that I have. So I feel like I can just more evaluate. Y'all can have more stuff to evaluate on the more minutes I get to play. And how about the team as a whole too? The team as a, as a whole is doing really good. I feel like the freshmen have, have uh, improved a lot this summer and they exceeded my expectations because I didn't have any expectations because I didn't know them, but I think they're doing really well right now. What do Ernest and Zuby do well? Just showing the athleticism, they're really big and athletic. Zuby's a really strong character, and Ernest is a really big at character. So when you put them together, they really have a big athletic game that is really good on defense and uh, working on their offensive game right now. Today, Baylor was named the team to beat in the Big 12 to start the season. Do you guys Have you seen that? Do you guys talk about that? Is that something that catches your attention? Not really right now as a standpoint because the Big 12 conference is, is, is close, but it is still far away, and we're still – working together as a team. So we really don't look at any other teams right now just because we're really so focused on just getting ourselves prepared just for this season. Anything else? Quick, best shooter so far. Best shooter? I really don't know the best shooter right now. It, uh, we'll probably, we'll, we'll, we'll see during late night because it, it's going to be different when you see all, all those people in there and we'll, we'll see who the best shooter is.